All right, so we're here in El Paso, Texas, and I got to share a crazy story, crazy story. So we came to me and Ghetto, I mean, me and Gabe came to visit our boy Gerard Studio, Desert Eagle Productions. I'll throw the site here. So we're here, and I just jump into a Zumba class, and I'm getting all down and crazy. Then I see this girl over here, and then it's like, wait a minute, she looks familiar. Well, it turns out that we started a group, a crew at her school, like, what? It was like four years five years ago. <laughs> Four or five years ago I was just helping out to start a crew here in El Paso, the Viking Breakers I think they were called. Just a little small cheesy breakdance group but then something happened. Tell us what happened after that whole experience. No, he just broke me out of my shell. He made me dance in front of my whole school and there I'm, I'm here dancing with Desert Eagle Productions. And she's sick. You saw that footage. She's sick. So we were just, you know, just helped out a little. So remember those small, those small little seeds that you plant in the students, you have no idea what can happen. This girl is tearing it up. She's sick. I saw some of that popping John action <laughs> going there. Some of that popping John in there. So don't despise the day of small beginnings. No matter if you're working with students or you are a student, it's sick, it's fresh. Get a picture of yourself, Gabe. Get a picture of yourself. Look. Oh, uh, yeah. There's Gabe. Uh, uh, uh. So I just wanted to introduce y'all to my ex-girlfriend. You know, she, you know, we just didn't work out. Didn't work out. And then my my past dance instructor right there. Okay, so I just want to follow up with with our girl here because her story is way cool. It's way cool. So what 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 do you got planned now? She's about to graduate from high school. So all you high schoolers out there, let, you know, just see what her plan is. Here we go. Well, I'm gonna graduate, and then from there, I'm just gonna go to UTEP for like a year or so. I don't know, just to do my basics. I wanna study kinesiology, something that has to do with sports, you know? And then I'm gonna try out for Gold Diggers. And then after that, I plan to go to LA and pursue my dancing career, which is what I wanna do. And I decided to stay here in El Paso for now. It's because, like, my mom just lost a daughter and a niece, like, in a car accident, so. I want to stay here because it's only been a year, so I want to stay here to kind of feel that emptiness and then after that, I'll decide to go on and do my life and hopefully do it big. So, what advice would you give to all the other seniors out there who, you know, maybe they're into dancing, maybe they're into art, maybe they're into just reading or games. What is, what is some advice that you would want to give that maybe Gerard's taught you, I've taught you, Donovan? What is some, just some mad advice for all your peers out there? Well, I think everybody should like pursue their dream and even though a lot of people don't believe in you, the only one that's always going to get you out there is yourself. And you know, because you're always going to be the one like even though a lot of people are telling you, no, you should study this or that, you are always going to give you yourself that power to go and do whatever you want to do. And you know, when you're practicing, even though you're practicing 100%, you have to know that there's always that somebody practicing 120%. That's why you have to do it like more than that and practice every day. Dang, she just schooled me. Oh, cool. Well, awesome. High five right here. High five. Boom. All right.